I'd like to welcome you to the second Getting Started with Our Network Management System, CNEC NMS. In this video, we want to touch on the subject of policy configuration in CNEC NMS. We'll look at how rule-based configurations can be set up in CNEC NMS and, in particular, what advantages we gain through a rule-based configuration. Rule-based configurations, or policies for short, have the following advantage for you. For example, you can run mass operations on your devices if you're performing a device hardening, in other words, with just a few mouse clicks, you can select your devices in the network and, for example, switch off unsecure telegrams such as HTTP. You can have policies carried out at a time you choose or at different time intervals. This allows you to plan future maintenance work in advance and have it subject to a policy. We'll tackle the subject of policies in three steps. First of all, I'll create a policy. We'll take a look at how device conditions can be determined. In the second step, we want to simulate and run the policy. In the final step, I'll demonstrate a small use case, namely, how you can pull a backup from a device and compare it with another configuration file. For today's work with the policies, we will focus on the operation level of CNEC NMS. There we can create a local policy, simulate it, and run it later. CNEC NMS gives us the opportunity to spread a policy over our entire network. That is, we are creating a policy on the CNEC NMS higher level control. However, we only see the result of a global policy in our operation. For example, when we perform a device backup, the associated files are on every operation and not in the control level. The stated use case, which compares configuration files, will likewise take place in the operation. To set up a rule-based configuration, let's go into our CNEC NMS operation. Here on the start page, we can see the device states as well as the policy states. At present, no policy has been stored, or rather, none has been executed. At Network Administration, Policy Control Center, we can now jump to our menu item to create a policy. With the Create button, we can start editing the policy. Here, we can assign a name and also save a description. Next, we select a role of which user is allowed to execute this policy. In the conditions here, the device conditions are set. I want to execute this policy for all Scalance devices in the network. This means that every device type should contain the name Scalance. At the bottom, we see a small preview and can apply these device conditions via OK. Now we'll create the rule for our policy. Here, for example, we can define individual rule steps. We can do this at both the device level and the interface level. At the control strategies, we can now determine whether we want to do everything sequentially, in parallel, or run-based, that is, intelligently. By adding the task, we can now determine a device function. In this case, we want to pull our configuration file from our device. Here, we can also make further optional settings, such as giving our backup a name. In the overview, we can now see that our policy has been created. Via the Load and Activate button, we can now use it for further processing. Before executing it, I always recommend a simulation so that you can see which devices are affected by the policy. Shortly thereafter, a simulation report will be displayed here. We can see that all of our five network devices are affected. By scrolling down, we can even see exactly which devices in the network are affected. Now we can execute the policy. This may take a moment. After executing the policy, 
we can see the final execution state. At Policy Executions, we receive a detailed execution report. Now I'd like to show you how we continue working with the device backups. All our backups are now located at Network Administration in the Device Configuration folder. If we now select a backup, we can display this configuration file as accustomed to from the web-based management of our devices. Another use case here would be the comparison of two configurations. First, we open the configuration and edit it. We can save this as a second configuration. The second file is now saved in our CNEC NMS, but of course not on our device. After a short time, the second configuration appears, and we can now compare it with the first. In a summary overview table, we can see which configuration differences exist between the two configurations. You have now received an impression of policy-based configurations in CNEC NMS. I hope you enjoy trying this out on your network management system. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.